The Minecraft MMORPG Wincraft can seem a bit daunting when you first join, so here are 10 useful tips for all new players. When creating a character, pick whatever class that interests you, because you can create several classes to try all of them, and the ability tree is fairly easy to reset so you can easily try all archetypes and combos, so do not feel limited by your choices. Win has a lot of content for you to try, and you should try it all. The quests have the main story, and you can kill monsters between quests to help you level up, but you can also do dungeons and later on also raids for XP, items and emeralds. Then there's secret discoveries for more lore hidden around the world, and boss altars for secret bosses with rare loot, so do make sure to try all of it. Don't be scared of professions, they have their purpose, and yes, they can be used to create some awesome gear, but they're completely optional, so don't let the grind scare you, try them perhaps later on in your playthrough or on your second class even. Don't worry too much about dying. It's okay to die, it won't really set you back too much. Just keep on playing the game. However, do keep an eye on your soul points, because if they're below 6, you'll risk losing your gear. But don't worry, every sunrise in the game, you get soul points back. Be on the lookout for loot. Loot is your main source of armor, weapons and emeralds, and the best way to get loot is to be on the lookout for chests marked with particles. Usually exploring caves will reward you with a high tier chest marked by white particles at the end of the cave, but killing monsters is also a great way to get loot and XP. If your inventory fills up with a bunch of trash items you don't want, don't just throw it out. You can instead shift right click the ingredient pouch to auto sell all ingredients that you have for a few emeralds. And for regular items, you can easily sell them to any blacksmith found in most cities. You can also go to the player market in the city of Deathless and other large cities, and there you can sell your items to other players, usually for a bit more money. If you're ever in need of help, or just want someone to play with, don't worry, because you can use the slash party finder command to easily find and create public parties where you can find other players to play with. Or you could go to the city of Deathless on world 1, it's usually filled with lots of helpful players. Explore Windcraft has a huge map. And it's beautiful, there's lots of small little secret places for you to find. You'll also probably find some quests, discoveries and good grind spots this way. So do make sure not to only grind for levels, but also exploring the vast world that Wind has to offer. And if you get lost, just use map.windcraft.com to see the map, place waypoints and track coordinates. Get a mount. Exploring and getting around is fun, but seeing as the map is quite big, a great way to get around is using a horse. And at level 13 you unlock a quest called Stable Story that rewards you with a horse, and if you need a faster one, you can find higher tiers in dungeon shops or on the player trade market. If you're ever experiencing an issue, don't worry, they're usually easily fixed. If you're stuck somewhere, use a TP scroll or slash kill to return to a city. And if a quest is not working as it should, use slash class to unload the area and then log back in again, or use slash fix quests to get any missing quest items back. And those were all the tips, I'll see you guys next time, goodbye!